Hey, Darren here. I had a client recently ask me about updating uh, data inside of their Firebase real-time database. Basically, they wanted to import a lot of like lookup data, so like lists of things. So in this video, I wanted to share with you what I found um, on how to import, export, and update the data inside of the Firebase real-time database. Um, so first things first, let's look at importing data. So let's say you have a blank uh, database here. Well, um, all this database is, is or it's interpreted as, is, as, as JSON data. And JSON um, stands for JavaScript Object Notation, which looks like this if you were writing it out inside of a text editor. Um, it's an object, meaning you have a key and then a value. And so here you can see all the different types of values you can have. This one is an array. You have a Boolean, just true, false, some text, um, a number, another object inside of the object. Um, so let's see what this looks like when we import it um, into Firebase. So over here on the right side, I can come here and say import JSON. I will browse to find that file. I will import it here. So now we have the data we were just looking at. You can see the um, array here, the object here. So now this is our data inside of Firebase. So to update this, what I would advise you to do is to first um, export it um, and then reserve this file as a backup because if you're messing anything up you want to have something to fall back on so what we're going to do basically what i'm going to show you how to do is add more list items to this array so let me export this json even though it's what i just imported and i'm going to show that in my finder and then open that up All right, so again, what we want to do is update this array here to add more values. So the best way or one of the ways to do this um, is I have a Google Sheet open here, and I'm just going to generate um, some values here. So one, two, three, and let me drag this down. We'll go to 20. And... Uh, Google Sheets does not have an out-of-the-box export as JSON, but what we can do is export as a CSV, which stands for Comma Separated List. But uh, if we want the commas, we need all of this to be in a row instead of a column. So I can copy that, come over here, right-click, and Paste Special, and then I can come down to Paste Transposed, and that will paste the data into a row. So then I can just um, delete this column and then export this data. So we'll go to File, come down to Download, Download as CSV. And then I'll open that up. And so here you can see now we have a comma separated list of all of those values. So I'll copy that and then replace the list that is in the JSON we exported. And then I'll save that. And then we can go back to Firebase and import that updated JSON. And you can see here it is uploading this to the root location, which is denoted by this. Um, so it's going to replace everything, and when we import this, we, sh we it should highlight what it's actually updating. So I'm going to import this, and you see here it just added all of these values to this array. So nothing else was changed except for we ha now have all these lookup values added to this array. So that is one of the ways I found to kind of easily update the data um, inside of uh, Firebase. You can use that import export feature. Um, that's going to be all uh, for this tutorial. Happy coding.